Good evening, sweethearts. How y'all doing? Happy full moon rising. It's going to seem like a full moon tonight and tomorrow night. A full moon, I think it commences like at 2 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, Central Standard Time. I'm burning some Palo Santos. You know, you want to talk about about how crazy these energies are. How are y'all doing? How are y'all feeling? <laughs> how you doing, Dion? Dan, and big hugs and blessings, sweethearts. Mama Kitty had four kittens, right? You guys remember me when I posted that? Midnight is her name. Well, about two weeks after they were born, how you doing, Beth? Big hugs and blessings. She had moved the four kittens outside under the neighbor's trailer, which I thought was really weird. Well, today she brought the kittens back in. Cute. I mean, they've, they've gotten so big. But then she killed three of them, and I'm kind of puzzled by that. Why would she bring the, kit, the babies back inside and then kill them? Why do cats do? I don't know anything about cats. She's in Texas. Oh, Prince is asking what Prince Alex is asking. I'm in Texas. I'm in Central Texas. How you doing, Bo, Prince, Sherry? Sharing big, big hugs and blessings, sweethearts. And, and I had tears running down my face because, you know, I had to do something with these babies, and I've never had to do anything like that before. And and so I'm going to meditate here in a little bit and really connect with spirit and ask, you know, because everything's a message, guys. And, and so I really have to... I... I I blessed those babies and I had to bury them. And I tell you what, um, she's nursing the fourth one. Um, you know, Bo, I thought that too, but you know, she, she killed the twins. She killed the, the one that had the, literally the, the split face with the gold, the gold side, and then the other side was black, and the black side had the gold ring around the eye, and then on the gold side, the I mean, it was literally perfect, perfect contrast. And uh, but the only the one that's living is the pure gray one. Kind of makes sense if you kind of look at it from beyond and around and through it. You know, everything is has symbolism, everything has a message and and gray is really showing us where you know, gray is expansive. It's it's zero point. There is no um Arshad, I don't know how you guys asked me to join the conversation and I don't know how to do that. Sherry says this is what it says it is well known that a mother cat may kill kittens if the nest is disturbed especially if she is confined and cannot move or hide her litter these mothers are generally either desperate or inexperienced or both and she it was really weird sherry because she when she brought those kittens in she brought them up to me and she set the one in my hands in my lap and she laid there and nursed them on my lap and then she put them in, um, I had gotten a little, before she had them, when she was pregnant, I had a basket that I had put a towel in. And, uh, she went and she took them off of my lap and she put them in the basket. And she started nursing them. And, uh, their eyes were all open and everything. That's what's really surprised me because they're like a month old now. I blessed him, and I, you know, I worked my magic on them. They're all good now. They are. So, let's change the subject before I start crying. And, uh, you know, I'm not the emotional type, really. Um, <laughs> I love you guys. Big, big hugs and blessings. That's why I'm burning some Palo Santo. <laughs> so, anyways, this is I was gonna make I was gonna make a video, and for 
those of you who are familiar, I'm, I've been sending out healing crystals. Well, I really connected with Spirit the other day, and, and Spirit showed me something, and, and so I've been working on it. I haven't been online much, but I want to put this out there. And there are many of us that love to paint, love to create, sing, make music, whatever. And a lot of their art, you know, they don't sell it. They, they're not in the mood to sell it. Their crafts, jewelry, whatever it may be. Songs, music. And um, what I would like to do, and this is going to have to be, take all of us, if you will, um, even those who don't can take part in it by donating for postage. But what I'd like to do is, if you guys are interested and if it resonates with you, those of you who d are, don't sell their poetry, poetry or, or pictures or art or whatever it may be, just loves to make it but's not really either not interested in selling it, has too much backup like Miss Allen. I've already talked to her and I talked to... Lavelle Zimmerman, and because um, they give out free CDs of their music and whatnot. What I'd like to do is, those of you who have a bunch of art or anything like that, that you create, that you don't really sell or, or would like to donate and send it to me, what I'd like to do is put packages together of... Because when we're creating this stuff, we can put, like, before you paint a picture or draw a picture or something, you can write what I'm going to call a wishful intent and put, may all your days be magical, may peace be with you in every moment, or, or whatever you may be, maybe you want to say or, or put a beautiful intent in. And and then you can, in just light pencil, you know, just light pencil. And then paint over it or draw over it or whatever. And then you have that beautiful intent in there, that blessing. But what I'd like to do for those of you who are interested is, and, and would like to donate to it. And send me your crafts or your art or, or your music CDs or whatever it may be that, that you distribute for free. And... Um, send it to me. I can send it out in like little packages with my crystal. And what I was guided to by spirit and spoke to, to Lavelle Zimmerman, my beautiful angel. I just love him. I'm going to marry him one day now. <laughs> I always say that. Anyways, donate it. Um, and I can send him out in packages. And what I would, I would definitely need all of us to come together and donate for the postage. Um, it is, it is quite expensive sending out just my crystals. So I would definitely need all of us to pull together if you're interested in doing something like this. Um, because the little, the packages with art and crafts or whatever in them along with, with the crystals would be a healing package of all of us. And of course that would cost more, even more than just sending out a crystal. Um, it would be a branch off of Universal Brothers and Sisters, and and what it would what I've been guided by Spirit to call this project, if you will, is Universal Brothers and Sisters Love Blessings of Gratitude. Now, this is not something that I want to charge for, sweet ones. Um, the only money that would be involved in any of this would literally be the cost of, of you donating any extra art that you have or or you know when you were just starting out all of it has our energies in it our love in it and and we can send it out as a package just versus just me sending a crystal and i really think feel that all of us coming together in in, in community like this would not only would it amplify the healing behind it and the loving energy. I think Dana, Dana's saying jewelry, figurines, anything like that. The only thing is, again, I, you know, we would have to pull together for, for donation for postage, especially for overseas. Um, it is not cheap just to send eight crystals 
the first batch I sent overseas was $115. And that's not counting the ones in the States. So, I mean, so I would really like feedback if, if you're interested. Miss Ellen said she would be more than interested because, you know, she had made a post a couple um, weeks ago or what, maybe a month or so ago um, and said that I don't know what to do with all of my extra art. Well, you know, and, and it's things like that that really, cause there's many of, of, of us out there that create and a lot of us, you know, just like, like Lavelle Zimmer, Zimmerman and my angels, you know, they produce their music and, and give out free CDs, Moon Man T, you know, for the, I don't know if you guys know them all. Um, Centaurian and Thesis Jackson. So, I mean, there's Cassandra. What's Cassie's last name? Dennis, Cassie Marie Dennis. You know, she paints and stuff. And, and so I'm just thinking it would be, it would be a great idea. Let me catch up on what you three arts are saying here. Um, I appreciate you looking that up, Sherry. I didn't think to do that. Um, let's see. Dion, I'm not creative, but I'd like to help with postage and anything else that helps get them to our tribe. Cheryl, are you there? I dropped my phone. Something got me. A bug or something got me. Dropped my phone. And there, my dog's barking at an armadillo crawling across my lawn. All right, let me catch up here. Cheryl, I said seven fifty. So that was that enough for the crystal? Oh, absolutely. I don't charge for the crystals, Cheryl. And in in, in the states, just for the crystal is three dollars. Um, and I appreciate those of you who donated to help me with the with the postage on those. You know, I started out just gonna send out five crystals, and and the list keeps getting bigger and and, and bigger. And I think that you know, to me, that is that is very very beautiful. Um, I just, I just, I, it just touches my heart that, that we can send this kind of blessings of love and gratitude out. And, you know, it's never been about me. You know, I may be mama, but it's never been about me sending them out for recognition or anything like that. It was more so, so many people resonate with my energy and I am a very powerful healer. And, and if I can make a difference... Hold on a sec. Hey! 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 We're done. No, we're done. Come on. Come on, Snoopy. <coughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Let's have a treat. I'm telling you, these energies of this full moon, guys, it has my animals going crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so what are your guys' thoughts on that you know is, is there enough of you out there that have art and stuff that you would like to donate um my cat beth cheryl i don't believe that what believe what what did i miss okay i was talking about the cats let's go on let's move on before i cry on that um dion that would be great uh, you know, even those who aren't, who, who don't feel they're creative and can, and can help with postage, that would be great. Because the more we can send out, the more we can <coughs> unite, uh, unite our energies all around the globe, all around the world. And, and again, you know, I add somebody else's art in somebody's poetry or whatever it may be, a piece of jewelry or something like that. We're amplifying that energy, that light that love and and that's really what it's about tammy brilliant simply brilliant and also wish to contribute to postage paypal i do have a paypal paypal account um guys um dana i already answered you on yours please tell me best way to do this for you is i carry my crystal with me that you sent me daily oh dion that's beautiful i don't have anything that i created myself except my kids cheryl is that not beautiful enough? And you create with every word you think, you know, every 
word you speak, every thought you think. That's why, you know, we always say focus your energy on what you want to create because we're that powerful. And, and Cheryl, so, you know, let's look at it instead of saying, I don't have anything that I created myself except my kids. How about we say this, beautiful. In this moment of time, my creative abilities will be to send love and energies to all of it, to all of you. And, and you know, that's good enough. You know, it doesn't have to be a thing for us to be able to contribute or to create or, or anything. Cheryl, I know it was for postage, and I and I used it for postage, and I appreciate that beautiful very much. So, um, well, you know, like I make I make healing mandalas, and and you know I can make a little, I you know there's there's so much what we can include. Now I'm now now no, don't get me wrong, I don't want a great big package, guys, because I don't want y you know. Christmas is coming and everything, you know. I mean, I want to keep it minimal, but I mean, I really want to be able to... Um, I just think it's a great way of distributing not only our love and our light, but I, th I think I feel it's a very beautiful way to to really put that creativity out there. And... You know, there's seven point eight billion souls on this earth right now, and somebody's gonna like something, you know, and everybody will appreciate anything, and they'll really appreciate it when they feel all the loving energy, and we're not here to gain anything by it. We're here to be in service and and I can't think of a better, beautiful gift that we can give back to to ourselves and the Creator than than to bless others in gratitude and love by the very gifts that the Creator has has bestowed upon us. And and for me, the 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 what spirit gave me the other day and um really expand it much further out than this but it literally will be just ran on donations for a postage and, and of course the packaging materials but it will literally just be love blessings of gratitude that we send out to to those that, that need some extra healing, need some extra love, need some extra comfort and nurturing because we are that powerful. And, and, and we, you know, if we can put a smile in even one person's heart, it makes it worth it. It really, truly does. I love you guys. Let me catch up here. I'll post Dion. I'll post my PayPal information on my, on my wall when I'm done. Um, Douglas, hey Linda, I can get some greeting cards with some pretty funky designs from the golden age of illustration to you. Oh, oh let me see. I, I'm trying to... How many you'd like, and I'll send them over. The postage from Australia will be about all that I could cover, though. Now, you know, anything, you know, anything, guys. That's, a be that's beautiful, Douglas. Thank you for offering that. You know, anything, or, you know, we can even do it, you know, Doug, you can do this. For those that are overseas, this would also help minimize the the postage. You know, maybe, Doug, maybe you or somebody, Lucy or, or Adela, one of you guys over in those areas, maybe you guys would... Um, I'd like to maybe start a group, uh, uh, Universal Brothers and Sisters Love Blessings of Gratitude over there and send it around your area and we can, and I can do the, the states, you know, we can all be all in this together and I can send some healing crystals to, to you guys if you want to set up, set up something like this over there. Um, that's beautiful, Douglas. Thank you. How you doing, Jody, Tana? Tammy, big hugs and bless blessings, guys. Brenda, you too. Um, suggestion, a unity chain, one package gift goes out. 
and receiver returns the blessings with a package gift for you to send out to the next receiver. That's a great idea too, Tammy. Um, does not need to be elaborate in all heart, all love, all one. So yeah, you know, I mean, put a feeler out, guys. Um, you know, if you have friends that are artists that draw, that sing, or, or anything like that, and would love to to donate, again, this isn't, you know, this literally is, is something that is just going to be from our hearts, and, you know, I do know there's a lot of artists out there and that do, does have a lot of extra um, pictures and art and stuff that they've done, and, and that they do get a lot. Their walls do get covered, and, you know, and there's a lot that have, you know, my sister makes stuff just to make it. She doesn't, she's not interested in selling it or anything like that. She does it because she loves to create, and, and, and she's beautiful at it, and so just things like that. I think it would really be beneficial, and, and you know, especially with the holidays coming up, these changing times that we're in. I I just feel that we all can use a little extra boost of loving energy. And so, you know, I wanted to put the feelers out there to see if people would be interested in, in donating their art or anything like that. I have talked to a couple of people. Um, my angel Lavelle Zimmerman gave me permission to use Universal Brothers and Sisters. We're going to do it as a branch off of... of Universal Brothers and Sisters and UBC Rocks with Angel and, and Mel and those guys doing doing that branch of it, if you will. And, and you know, we're all in this together, hand in hand, side by side, sweet ones. And so if you're interested in me in it, in donating or, or doing something like that, you know, let's get together and, and put it together. I am... Um, trying to learn how to do a website because I want to do a website of of this so um, we can expand it to where people can you know put show some of their art or, or some of the music that they're donating to go out in packages on it and stuff like that so if anybody's out there that don't mind donating time that knows how to set up a website I'd be grateful for the for the help. <laughs> so, um, Sherry, I'm interested in Dana. Beautiful idea. Go to thrift stores all the time, and I find the greatest treasures. I'd love to donate some stuff. I'm interested. And again, you know, Dana, try and, um, like I said, really try to find, if you're going to do something like that, if you're not the one creating it, or maybe you know artists around your town or something that would that donate, but really try to find the things that are are, are kind of handmade. And and you know, my logo on this, be I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make stickers. Um, is you know how people say homemade? Well, my logo is gonna be this heart made. <laughs> it's I got it written down. What did I do? Um. So what did I come up with? It's like, heart made is love made from home because home is where your heart is. And, uh, and, and like I said, you know, love blessings of gratitude from Universal Brothers and Sisters. And so, yeah, meditate on it, you know, see what resonates, see what y'all feel about it in. And let's go from there, and, and I'm going to keep working on on some of this stuff. And yeah, Dion Hartmade, yeah. And uh, and I'll get the next batch of, uh, of crystals out, guys. And uh, big, big, big hugs and blessings. I love you guys. And, you know, this full moon energy is going, you know, this energy is really, it's intense. These energies are intense and you're really going to find, um, the tower is going to come falling for all of us, if you will. But through this is, is really, um, setting us 
us free. And by the end of October on the physical plane, you're literally going to to be able to tell that you're in a new dimension. Um, yes, we touch into it. You know, yes, we're anchoring it in. But you're literally going to, you know, come November, you're really going to see new earth in, in, in a lot of ways. And this is really going to propel you guys out onto your new paths after this weekend. And this really truly is just as harsh as these this full moon energies are going to be as far as what it's going to be revealing not only individually but collectively it literally is um well we've hit, we we've been through the calm before the storm and you know we too can get through this and this is really that last it truly, truly is that, that last tower falling and truth being revealed. And it's just really a glorious, glorious time. And, and that's what this full moon really is going to do. It, it's the tower falling. You know, the tower's been crumbling and, and now it's just, it's just, it's like, it's just done. And, and there's going to be a lot of anger coming up with the truth, you know. And that's, that's one thing. And, and we all know that on our spiritual journeys, any of us who've been on it, that the truth hurts. The truth shocks. And the truth pisses us off. But once we get over that anger, we're set free. And... That's why, you know, even though these towers are going to fall collectively, individually, with our families, with our societies, our religions, our governments, more so than it has been revealed. I mean, this is going to be like putting the cherry on the dominoes that have already fallen, you know, putting whipped cream on top of them and putting a cherry on it. You know, this is that final domino that's really going to hit the physical plane and it's going to hit the physical plane boom you know and and with that that's where we have to be <laughs> we have to be the pillars of peace we have to be the stability we have to be the comfort we have to be the light the peace that love and even though we're going to be going through our own you know but we really have to, you know, we're really going to be the ones that need to to be those conduits of stability and and peace mm -hmm. as we all go through this. And and yes, there, you know, there's going to be tension. There already is. You're seeing it everywhere. Um, you know, and the best thing we can do is really just project that loving energy out no matter what's going on breathe and you really stay grounded through through these next couple of days you know with that full moon hitting tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and uh you know as beautiful as this is it's gonna you know there is great pain to see pleasure and and this is a huge shift for us and it's a beautiful thing. So really allow yourselves to to really forgiveness is key because this is you know, this is that huge betrayal that I've been talking about all month and that has really been amplified through the through the total solar eclipse and on forward and in the equinox and and so look at Liken this to uh, the explosive orgasm, if you will, leading to a whole new heartgasm. <laughs> kind of like understanding. <laughs> and so, you know, really keep your intentions. Full moons represent endings, guys. And, oh, I'm telling you, Cheryl, it's gorgeous out here. I posted a, a picture earlier and um, Cheryl, I'd rather have the truth. Yeah, we all do. 
And, and the truth is, is really going to be exposed even more so now than it is. And, you know, we're waiting on Dunford to announce the new republic. That's, I mean, everything is, is right here, ready to go. And they're just waiting for that tower to crumble. And it really is crumbling with this. It's not crumbling. It's falling with this full moon. And, and that's a beautiful thing. This is, this is, these next couple of months, especially October, is a very shape-shifting month, a very morphing month, a very transforming month more so than than any other month. And, and you're really going to see um, it more and more. And, you know, this is going to be a huge betrayal to the very core of our beings collectively and individually what's going to be revealed to us and, and, and something will be revealed to us where we've either buried it so much that we don't remember it whether it's in our relationships or something else their secrets betrayal something you know something that will literally crumble us emotionally but it's going to crumble us to the point that it's crumbling us to zero point, if you will, fully to where we can accept our crown of glory and move forward completely clean and clear and pure, if you will. And I hope that made, I hope, I hope I came across the right way with that, how I was trying to say that. Um... I'm not sure I will have a family come to completion of this yet. Somehow, I feel at peace with that. Tammy, that's very prevalent for many. And it's really helpful, you know, to know, beautiful, that um, your earth families play a role. And... One of the biggest things for the human aspect of us is to truly love your earth family. Your earth family is not necessarily your soul family. And to love your earth family unconditionally, you have to be able to release the emotional attachments. The emotional attachments from the beliefs and the way you were brought up and the way you were taught. The emotional attachments of where a sibling is forced into a responsibility role, a role that takes them out of being a kid because they have to babysit their little brother and sister, they have to protect their little, and, and put them in a role of a parent and make them feel responsible. All of those emotional attachments, all of those hurts and pains and fights and abuse and everything that you either watched each other suffer when you were younger, whatever it may be. And as hard as that is for the human aspect, we have to let go of those emotional attachments. Now, when we can do that, the relationship with your family may or may not come back. Mine, I lo I've lost my kids. I've lost my grandkids. I've lost my whole entire family, with the exception of my sister, my fiance, everybody I lost. And, and I've lost all the material things in, in my life too. And, and, I'm not, and I'm not alone when I say this. Because we have to lose everything in order to gain everything. And the most beautiful thing about it is this. By losing everything, we lose all the attachments that we have to money, to material possessions, to our Betty Boop collection, to our Xbox Live and its games, to our weed, to our alcohol, to our... To, to that addictions to sex, that addictions to codependency, to to being responsible and, and the caretaker of everybody else, to, I mean, we have to lose all of it. And, and all of those attachments, emotional, whether 
we're aware of it now or in the beginning of where we weren't in the beginning of our journeys or whatever it may be. We have to let, let go of those attachments because all those emotional attachments, everything that we have been taught and believed and everything else are all emotional attachments. And as long as there's an emotional attachment, it is conditional love. It is not unconditional. And you're not alone in what you're going through, beautiful. I know many that are going through it, and, and I've been through it myself. And, and I'm, I'm surrounding you with a whole lot of love and know I'm here for you. It is devastating as it is to the human aspect of us. Your relationship will become more beautifully enhanced, if you will, once you let them fall away and and you go on your journey and you you do what you need to do for you and learn to love you fully, selflessly, unconditionally. No, I said selflessly, not selfishly. And, and when you can love yourself selflessly, and and not feel guilty for it you will find that you if it is for your highest good you will be brought back into the presence of your family and that relationship will will be much more beautiful it really truly will I have a better relationship with my sister now than I than I feel that I ever have and and there was a lot of hurt and pain between my sister and I and and I can't speak for her I can only speak for myself but when I was able to let go of those emotional attachments to the memories it's really changed our relationship and for which I'm grateful for, because for me, the journey has been extremely lonely. And, you know, even even now, um, I'm in the middle of nowhere, no car, no nothing, you know. And, and I'm not complaining. And please do not take it that way at all. Um, I live in, a, in, in an every breath space of gratitude. And it really is beautiful. There is there. It it, it just it, it just really is beautiful, guys. I mean, as hard as it is, <laughs> Betty Boop, brilliant reference. <laughs> My daughter is struggling with public schools. It's too physically painful for her. Megan, you may want to consider. <clears throat> homeschooling beautiful they have some beautiful homeschooling programs on the internet now to where the parent isn't overwhelming themselves with doing it on their own um i am t a total advocate for homeschooling um just because the educational system is there to um i'm going to use the word indoctrinate our children rather than educate them. However, again, you know, I'm not trying to push my feelings onto anybody when I say that. Um, I love you too, Tammy. Things will get better with each generation. Absolutely. And it's really helpful to understand they all come from us. We are the ancestors and we are our future offspring. And so... You know, you want to know what the generations ahead are going to look at? Look at us. Because we're creating it. And that's why it's so important for us to stay here and, and really master our energies, be the masters that we are. Master our, our focus of our energies. You know, observe thyself. Learn to trust thyself and know thyself. And observe our perceptions. Observe you know, observe, 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 and and share our experiences so others know that they're not alone because the journey is lonely. And, you know, 
it doesn't matter what we have in this world. Because if we cannot connect through our hearts, then we have nothing. And humanity has lost their humanity. And we're restoring it. And there is no greater honor that we can be bestowed with than being the ones to restore humanity back into humanity. And we do that with kindness and we do that through love and we do that through peace and stability. And we do that by being the leaders. By And it don't mean being teachers or being gurus or being guides or anything else. It means literally being the example being the example of integrity, <clears throat> of being open-hearted, of being vulnerable, of being peaceful, of being helping, being comforting, being nurturing. And, you know, it's being the example of, you know, holding that door open for somebody or reaching out and shaking their hand, not treating them like a stranger, but treating him like a divine being that we are. And, you know, it's making that first step. It's taking, it's making that, that first move. It's taking that first step. It's being and it's doing and it's, and it's leading, <clears throat> it's leading by us walking our talk through integrity, through morality, through honesty and through truth. And, acceptance and allowance you know just because somebody might label somebody is you know or a neighborhood you can't walk in that neighborhood that's a bad neighborhood that's where we shine our light now i'm not saying go and put yourself in danger or whatever what i'm saying is you know we are all aspects of self and you know we're the ones to reach out that smile, that hand, that <clears throat> that pat on the shoulder, you know, regardless of who or what, where we are. And that's the beauty of us, you know, that, that there is no greater greater feeling in the world to be able to do that but the only way for it to be genuine to be genuine and authentic and true is to come from our hearts and the only way we can do that and be that is to transform ourselves and to love ourselves unconditionally and selflessly first and you know because until we do that it's all conditional and and that's a beautiful thing of us. Out there in nature must be wonderful. I love it out here. Linda, I have great wisdom. Thank thank you. I love you guys. I Linda, I am a wisdom keeper. Um I, I hold the keys to the halls of Amente and right now financially we can't. She is crystal and empath and is just so overwhelmed. And who, Megan? What did I miss there? Cheryl, please message me. Yes, and the homeschooling on the internet are free for ch too for children. Oh, you're still talking about the homeschooling. Megan, there is um, something. Cheryl, message Megan because Megan, she's right. There are some out there for free and that have scholarships and some, and some. I was checking it when I had custody of my grandchildren. I had checked into it and she's right. Now, check your state laws, too. I know Texas is not a fan of homeschooling at all. And even a smile can help someone. Cheryl, you have to teach her to shield and protect herself and let her know she has gifts. <coughs> Excuse me. Douglas, that's how I've come to transcend the egoic response to the stupidity that goes down in the karmic mess that other people have involved me in. I'm sure you're familiar with this yourself, Linda. Simply being content with being in alignment with source has been the key. And, and, and I am familiar, you know, um, we are, I'm very familiar with it. And it's helpful to understand 
if you're drawn into it, there's a divine purpose. And I've learned that with myself. It's like, why am I in this situation? I don't even know these people on the physical plane creator. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I might not get the whole clarity on it till like a month or so later. Ah, uh, that's why that played out the way it did. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's always a divine purpose for, you know, the karmic mess of other people. But, you know, we wouldn't be seeing it as a karmic mess or anything else if if there wasn't something in us that recognized it. You know what I mean? I know you do, Doug. I, I just love you guys. I really do. Um... And Megan, exactly how I feel, laugh out loud. So, anyways, this kind of took a a turn of like four different subjects here. <laughs> Thank you for spending the evening with me. <laughs> that you know, I really just came on here to to talk about uh, seeing if anybody would would like to to really get together and work with me on on sending stuff out with my healing crystals as love blessings of gratitude from universal brothers and sisters and so if you guys do mm -hmm. you have friends that are interested um you know you can share the video or or I guess I really didn't go into a lot of detail but um let's do this you know, let's let's share our our healing gifts. Let's share our love. Let's let's share and let's do this hand in hand, side by side in unity. And I cannot think of anything, <clears throat> excuse me, more beautiful than to to honor self and, and the Creator or or whatever your beliefs are of of the higher energy of oneness that we come from. For me, it, it's my beloved great spirit. It's the creator and, uh, um, and, and father and guy's mother to me. And, and that's just the way it is for me. And so however you, you talk to your guides, your team, yourself, you know, I can't think of a better way to, to honor the creator to honor Gaia, to honor ourselves and each other, then, then to unite and, and share love, blessings of gratitude. And, and, and so that is, that is my project that I'm doing. And, um, I am, Again, if there's anybody out there that would love to donate the time to create or assist me in creating a web page of Universal Brothers and Sisters Love Blessings of Gratitude, I, I would be humbled in gratitude and most grateful. <laughs> so, you know, think about it, resonate, meditate on it, you know, discuss it with your friends and, and if you're interested, get in touch with me, but that is my goal, um... I have right now over a list of over 300, close to 400 now crystal, a list of people wanting crystals, um, many of them overseas. Those overseas I will ask that want crystals, if you can assist me with the postage, you know, and, and if you can't, that is fine. We can all pitch in together and help and assist with that. So, so no, I am going to be sending out another batch of crystals here in the next week or so. Um, you know, if there's anybody out there that has crystals that they would like to donate or, or anything else that, you know, that works too. Just anything that we can amplify the light and the love that we send out to each other. And, you know, um, I just think it's a beautiful thing that we can we can do, and so so that is what I'm working on, sweet ones. Um, 
is Universal Brothers and Sisters and UBC Rocks. Love blessings of gratitude. So, happy full moon. Um, really allow what you want to release. Surrender it to the universe and, and really focusing on what you want to manifest because right now Jupiter and Uranus and Pluto and we got a whole lot of energies there supporting us. Mars and Venus together and you know we got a lot of energy supporting us right now that anything that we really set our intentions on is gonna our our wishes are gonna be granted you know so really focus on on the beauty and the magic and the miracles of the breath of life and and what you really want to create through these intense times guys these intense this intense full moon in these next couple of days as this as the towers really do crumble. <coughs> Excuse me. So I love you. Big, big, big hugs and blessings. Have a great night, guys. And what's tomorrow? Friday? Thursday? Thursday or Friday? I don't know what tomorrow is. I may or may not be on, you know. It depends on how much I can... Get overwhelmed on, on on trying to create this website and, and doing. I'm also doing a Patreon account. Um, I've been asked to do some some private video sessions with a couple people, and um, they wanted to do it as a group. And, and so I would. I, I'm trying to figure out how to do that to 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 assist more people. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda Thursday. <laughs> so. So have patience with me if I'm not answering your messages right away. No, I will get back to them, sweet ones. Um, I'm really guiding, going, and working on what Spirit has, has really been telling me to do and showing me to do and asking me to do. And So, no, I, no I'll be back. I haven't forgotten. I'm with you. I love you guys. Big, big hugs and blessings. Have a great night, guys. Mm. Bye now.